What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another time big time video. This one here is the Ocean Crawler Bolt Black. So, if you don't know what that is, you're going to want to stay tuned. It's something very different from Ocean Crawler. And uh, I get the chance to experience it today. And I'm going to share that with you guys. So, right after the intro, we'll get right into it. So, beautiful packaging. I love the Ocean Crawler packaging. And the box got that full wood on there. You got the the inner box has that full wood on there. Ocean Crawler and like a goldish text. Um, just packaging wise, the materials feel nice. Looks good. But we're not here for that. Does come with a leather strap. That will never be on it. If they come out with the silicone strap, I'll definitely put that on it. But I don't rock leather. I might do it just to see what it looks like. But I'm uh, definitely a bracelet guy. So the bracelet is going to stay on the watch. And there it is. Now, obviously, we're going to unwrap it. But I wanted to show the watch brand new to you. Present it to you as I get to see it. And it is a good looking watch. Something different from Ocean Crawler. We'll get more into it once it's all unwrapped. Okay, so we're back. And uh, now the watch is sized to my wrist. This thing is pretty gorgeous, man. I'm digging it. So I only removed one link i've got it here um i might have to remove another one but uh for now it fits a little loose but it does a trick before i show you it on my wrist i want to get a weight i want to measure the so 186 let me write that down So let's add the one link, 190, 190 unsized. Okay, next I want to measure the crown. So we'll do that here in a second. I want to measure the crown and I want to measure the integrated bracelet itself. So we've got I'm gonna say 6.5. And then we start out at 27 at the lugs and we taper all the way down to 18. So I love that look. Definitely a good look. I'm a sucker for um, the wide bracelet at the watch. I like the integrated bracelet look. Definitely a fan of that. The way that appears. It just looks more masculine to me when it's uh, almost as wide as the watch case like that and then tapers. Now it tapers for the comfort but you have that really good look at the side profile which I really dig. So, integrated bracelet, not much articulation. If you have a small wrist, this may not work for you. Um, this fits my wrist pretty well. But I do have an 8-inch wrist. Looking at it top down, I really like the look of this watch. So, we'll go over the specs. So this is the Ocean Crawler Bolt Black. A lot of firsts for Ocean Crawler on this one. Um, the claim to fame on this watch is it's the world's slimmest 60 atmosphere watch, which is 2,000 feet water resistance. They're saying it's the slimmest at 12.3 thick. And it does have a very slim profile if you're just looking at the case. 
you do have a high rise bezel and you also do have a pretty thick case back. So I'm gonna pull out the calipers once again, just to measure and see if that 12.3 is accurate. And yes, I actually get 12.3 on the dot. So well done, Ocean Crawler. 42 millimeter case diameter. And then we have 48 lug to lug, and we'll measure this again because I'm sure that 48 is a true um, from the case, not from the, yeah, so 48 from the case, but the true wearability lug to lug is going to be 58.5, I would say 58.6. So that's where the bracelet begins to articulate and can go around your wrist. So huge difference between the 48 that the website says you got an extra 10 millimeters of end links before it starts to articulate. So keep that in mind for sure. And then, like I said, we just measured that 27 millimeter bracelet that tapers down to 18. 6.5 millimeter screw down crown, which is signed. You've got that OC logo on there. Crown does feel pretty good, nicely machine so that it's very grippy screws down rather nicely very smooth no binding so we have a 3.5 millimeter thick sapphire crystal and also 120 click unidirectional sapphire bezel so the insert on this bezel is sapphire and we will be testing the loom in this video I went with the black. Um, they have a white dial, a red and a blue, I believe, like a burgundy and a blue. I went with the black because uh, I, I want to start to shrink my watch collection down and I want to do more of a um, black goes with everything. And so this one with the, the minor accents of the blue, I feel like just works with um, a lot of the stuff I wear. So um, I mentioned in the beginning that they're limited to a hundred pieces. They're not a limited edition, but the site does claim that there's only a hundred per color. Um, there's no marking on the watch saying what number out of a hundred you got, or if there is only a hundred, but that's the claim. Nicely brushed 360 now stainless steel case and bracelet with nice high polished beveled edges. The finishing is nice. It feels good. Definitely feels better than most that I've handled for the Ocean Crawler line. Um, the Core Diver. Um, I feel like this is a nicer feel. I like the the case design. Get that kind of hexagonal feel to it, even though it's not. Um, the nine o'clock side is a lot more round. Then the crown, the side with the crown, the three o'clock side has very sharp edges. Not sharp like cut you sharp, but just a lot pointier, I should say, where this is a lot more smoothed out. So not symmetrical. If some, a non-symmetrical watch will bother you, just may not be for you. Cause you can definitely see how this one even has like a, a rounded edge to the case side and this is like completely flat where the crown's at so just another thing to be aware of um swiss Alita sw226 dual automatic movement which is i think standard in like all the ocean crawlers or most of the ocean crawlers then uh i showed in the unboxing you do have a leather strap included and then you have um an integrated bracelet which appears to be put in with the screw and yes, it's a screw on both sides as well. So, um, it is what it is, I guess. The back is very decorated, very nice looking with that ocean crawler octopus. You got stainless steel 360 now, water resistant 60 atmospheres, sapphire crystal automatic. 
Isn't that beautiful? Engraving embossed logo, whichever that is, with the screw down solid case back. Nice bracelet with the taper, and then you got the milled lower, milled upper, done very nicely. I like the look of this. But I'm having issues. Push button deployment. I'm having issues with the uh, micro adjust piece here, pushing it. I can't get the the bracelet to move, and I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I mean, I'm pushing with all my might. I feel the button actually moving, but I can't get the the bracelet to move in or out. So I don't know what's going on. This is my first time trying to use it. So I'll ask my buddy Ross to see if um, I'm doing something wrong. Hopefully I am, because I hope it's not jammed up and broken. But overall, I really dig the watch. I like the look. Um, I do not like that they're double-headed uh, screw pins to size a bracelet. That always is a bummer for me, just because it's so much harder to size when it's double-sided like that, because you have to hold two screwdrivers at the same time. That's something that uh, I wish more watch companies paid attention to or you know, I don't know if the cost is that much different from one to the other, but it definitely makes a difference when there's only one side that you have to screw. So bezel is disappointing. I thought the bezel was going to be fully illuminated and it's only the markers from the 12 o'clock or, you know, right after the 12 o'clock through the five and then towards the 10 and that's it. So that's a bummer. I also see one loom down here at like the 35 or the 7. Do you see that? I just covered it with my thumb. Very strange. Loom is super luminova. It looks good. But a little bummed out that the uh, whole uh, bezel isn't lit up because it's a sapphire bezel. So, okay, so I see exactly what's going on. So the blue and the orange is not loom. So it's just this one line here at the 35, like I said, or the seven. And then the hashes from the 12 to the 10 with the five line. So you got the cross line, that's it. The bezel looks gorgeous as is. And I really dig it. But what a bummer. You couldn't apply loom somehow to those colored surfaces like that. I think that really kind of kills the whole point of having the sapphire bezel. Is that that only looms up in those spots. Um, what do I know? I'm not a watch designer, right? But I know what I like. And I think it would have been way cooler if all the numerals lit up the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And the pip, or the triangle, I should say, at the 12. I would have really liked to see all that lit up as well. But, after I wear this watch, I'll do another video. This one was just a uh, introductory, and it's already almost 12 minutes long. So, I'll let you guys go. Much love. Stay tuned if you'd like for the photos. God bless. Better than the rest of them. Uh, compare us to the best of them. Better than the rest of them. Uh, compare us to the best of them. Uh, know the name, know the game, know the pain. Hey, know the name, know the game, know the pain. Hey, know the name, know the game, know the pain. Hey, know the name, know the game, know the pain. Hey, better than the rest of them. Uh, compare us to the best of them. Uh, better than the rest of them. Uh, compare us to the best of them. Better than the rest of them. Uh, compare us to the best of them. Uh, better than the rest.